Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question K weakest rows in a matrix. Given a M cross N matrix of 1s and zeros, where 1 represents soldier and 0 represent the civilians, return the indexes of K weakest rows in the matrix ordered from weakest to strongest. The row I is weaker than row J if the number of soldiers in row I is less than that in row J or if they have the same number of soldiers but I is less than J. Soldiers always stand in the front and that is always ones may appear in first and then zeros would follow. For example one we can see that this is a matrix given to us where this ones represent the soldiers that are standing here and these zeros are the civilians. K given to us is 3 so we need to give 3 weakest rows. If you count the soldiers in each of these rows, you will get 2 in 0th row, 4 in 1st row, 1 in 2nd row, 2 in 3rd row and 5 in 4th row. After you rearrange them or sort them with the condition that are given to us, the weakest to strongest order of this rows goes like 2, 0, 3, 1, 4. And as we need to give only 3, we give the first 3 and that's the output. So in here we can see that 1 would get arranged in the start and then 0 and 3 both have same number of soldiers. But since 0 is lesser than 3, we will take 0 and then we will take 3. So it gives us 2, 0, 3 and then 1 is having 4 soldiers and then 4. So that's how we got this order. So this particular question is mainly based on sorting. It has nothing more than sorting involved in the question. So it's an easy one. Let's go ahead and simply write the solution for this problem. Okay, so the main thing that we need to do here is sorting. So what we are going to take as a data structure is a priority queue that would hold integer array in which the zeroth index would give me the number of soldier and the first index would give me the index of row. So how do I need to sort this priority queue? So I will be taking a max if wherein I will be eliminating the max values and in here given A and B what we need to do first is first we need to sort based on A0 and B0 in descending order and if I am getting A0 equals to B0, then I need to sort according to my index, which is A1 and B1 in descending order. So this is how I want my priority queue to be sort. That's the whole gist of this question right here. So now let's go ahead and take a priority queue. So this gives me the sorted priority queue. So here this would give me sorting based on my soldiers and this would give me sorting based on my indexes in the descending order. I have written here while my soldiers are not equal I want it on based on my soldiers and while my soldiers are equal I want them based on the indexes. The next thing we need is a result array which would be of length k and now we need to find the soldiers in each row and put that number into our priority queue. So for int i equal to 0 i less than so that's iterating simply iterating on the matrix so I have taken this loop wherein I am iterating over my matrix and I have written wherever I have 1 I will do a soldiers plus plus and for that I need to take a soldier which will be 0 and once I am done counting that I need to add it in my priority queue. So this will add it in my priority queue. Now after adding everything in the priority queue and getting everything sorted I need to remove the extra values from priority queue. So while its size is greater than k, I need to pull from priority queue. 
and once I have all the elements that are there in the priority queue, I need to fill my result array. So while k is greater than 0, my result of k equal to pq.pol the first index from that and at the end I will just return my result. So that is it, let us run this code and I have made some mistakes. Okay. So that gives a perfect result, let us try to submit this and it got submitted. So that is one of the way of solving this question. The other method or other slight change over here that we can make is instead of looping over all the values, we can binary search the number of ones that are there. So I leave that binary search up to you and I would do something else for this question. So can we get rid of this priority queue over here? Let us try to do so and so I will instead of taking a priority queue, I will take an array of count and in this count, I need to store something from which I can deduce the count of soldiers and also the row it is present into. So instead of this line over here, my count of i should store the number of soldiers plus my index. Would I be able to get the index over here from this value? No. I would need to do some kind of operation so that I can easily get my values. So here I am taking this multiplied by 1000 and here I will do a mod of 1000 which would give me my index. So instead of this I will simply write arrays dot sort for my count and that would count based on my soldiers and because I have added i it would also consider my ith position. And now over here I need to write a for loop and my result of i would be count of i mod my mod by 1000. So this would give me my result. Let us remove this. Let us try to run this and it is giving a perfect result. Let us submit this and it got submitted. So the time complexity for this one would be O of m cross n because we have taken this loop for O of m cross n and my space complexity would be O of n. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next one. Till then keep learning, keep coding.